It's a Korean restaurant, right? Not really. Actually, you can order uh, some Japanese ramen as well. Okay. But, yeah, but no. the speciality uh, is Korean. But it, uh, I don't think you can also order sushi. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like a mix. <coughs> But the stone mix. rice is special it's of Korean. Korean, okay. It's Korean. So, yeah, so it's like bi bi bibimbap. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like a Korean stone rice famous dish here. Let me see. So, you can see all these prices are in euro. Let me see what is this. Oh, so, so. Stone one, right? No, no, stone one. Oh, okay, it's back. <coughs> Only here. If you order the stone. Stone ball chicken. Probably I will chicken. order the stone ball chicken. So it has like marinated grilled chicken with the other one sauce. So this is a popular Korean dish, which literally means mixed rice served in a bowl that has been heated to high temperature so it's same like because i've seen in some vlogs like in mexican dishes they use stone bowl and put cactus leaf on top of it and there will be some meat or something and it is bubbling like this and they bring it on the table like yeah, a stone it's something like this i mean it is different <coughs> but it has that stone bowl like <coughs> an iron plate so on an average you can find everything between 7 and 10 euros and if you need some extra like this like kimchi, fermented cabbage or lumpia or soya beans or maybe some rolls. So I would say it's not that expensive right? I mean compared to other restaurants it's mid range like or maybe low you can so say. This like. popular. Yeah. Let's see how the taste is and let's order. Probably I will go with the stone. Actually, this is a weekend, but we thought it might be rush, so we just because if you put that hot coal on the stone and then it's like creates that noise. First we have Japanese tea for drinks. I can see around the restaurant. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. Just wait so that everyone can see what we are doing. So why not turn to your side and then you will see your face? Uh, let's take some wasabi. This is a, like the fake wasabi, right? No, it's just wasabi, no fake wasabi. There's nothing called the fake wasabi. It's wasabi. I mean, it's not the real. Uh, I think it's good. Because the real one is really strong. So let's put some soya sauce in the wasabi. First we'll have the sushi and then we'll have the stone bowl, famous Korean stone rice. Sushi. They have a lot of sauce and everything. Let's try the sushi. So this one is with the fried shrimp, right? I hope my chopstick skills are okay. It's not perfect, but... I think we should miss now, otherwise it's getting cold. So this stone rice is with chicken, some cucumber, some carrot, some mushroom and a runny egg. Let's put all the sauces, that's how they explain. The stone is really really hot so be careful of not putting your hands on the stone. 
let's take this sauce and so put the entire sauce are you sure yeah it looks really too much no okay yeah, let's put the entire sauce and these are like radish or i'm not sure you have the yellow one i have the red one i think i have white one yeah that's radish. maybe it's pickled radish or something yeah. I think it sounds nice better. Otherwise, I'll just try it and then put it in. It's a, no, it's, don't put it inside. It's just more like a side dish. Okay. So, let me mix it. I can see some corn. And what is this corn? I forgot the... Sprout. Oh, the sprout. And this is seaweed, right? Uh, yes. I think so. Actually, it's not called seaweed. It's no... Oh, I don't know how to call it. There's some chicken, mushroom, cucumber, and this special rice is it like the sticky rice or is it different what rice is it like the sticky rice that sticky they eat rice? in the wok or the vietnam no 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 just rice okay just right so the first thing is to mix all the sauces as they explained it's here white rice. and then you can start eating it and be careful of not touching the stone because it's really hot this big bowl was only 750 the chicken stone rice 750 euros so considering what we get in Netherlands in a restaurant this is pretty okay thank you for the recommendation try it here you're welcome mm. it's a bit salty but completely different flavor i didn't expect this flavors like just hits the palate in every possible direction like <clears throat> I think the sauce is really an important thing here. yeah maybe because when you mix the sauce with all these vegetables and chicken brings together all the flavors and Considering the size of the restaurant and the seating space and the food, I would say it's a must try. It's not that expensive as you eat in the Netherlands. And just in front of the master station, so. But do they have any. Yeah, thank you. Maybe she's also saying the camera. This is thing like their food record. Okay. It's really filling like I would say if someone has one stone bar like this, that's enough for lunch. I mean this you're enough for dinner. <coughs> yeah, yeah. I mean one time meal it's enough. Then I mean we'll be full. I eat a lot, but still, it's enough. So probably we'll finish it and see you outside with the final words on how the experience was. So what was the overall experience? <laughs> it's really nice. So you can see it is just opposite to Maastricht station, just in front of the Maastricht station and normally it opens at 12 every day except Monday. I would say overall it was very filling quantity wise and quality wise also the food was good for 7 and 7 to 10 euros one stone bowl rice was really good. Anything you want to? Uh, it's good. <laughs>